Death might not be so bitter if you die doing something you already love more than life, but it's not so sweet either when your skull gets crushed in a race car. After her jet car collided with an object during her speed record attempt in August 2019, racer Jesse Combs died in a 550 mile per hour crash caused by a broken wheel. On August 27th, the daredevil nicknamed the fastest woman on four wheels died after her vehicle came apart in Oregon's Alver Desert. According to officials, an investigation of the wreckage led detectives and Combs' team to the conclusion that the vehicle's front wheel failed. The Harney County Sheriff's Office determined that this was most likely caused by a 550 mile per hour collision with an object on the dry lake bottom. According to the investigation, Combs, 39, died from blunt force trauma to the head before the vehicle caught fire. She was already dead when the vehicle burnt to ashes. The vehicle's forged aluminum wheels, according to the team's website, were meant to keep their integrity at speeds of up to 900 miles per hour. Yet those are the same wheels that broke under pressure. Her effort to break the 512 mile per hour land speed record appeared to be going well, with her rocket powered car racing over a dry bed lake at lightning fast speeds. According to TMZ, Jesse's 50 foot long vehicle was torn apart and taken away on a truck after the horrific incident. The vehicle was unrecognizable after the terrible tragedy. Jesse was attempting to break Kitty O'Neill's 1976 women's land speed record of 512 miles per hour. She set that record after initially reaching 483 miles per hour, but she attained the new record in a consecutive follow up despite mechanical trouble. Jesse was thrilled about the potential of achieving a new record in the weeks leading up to her death. Jesse's family claimed in a statement that her most notable dream was being the fastest woman on earth. On the bright side, let's assume that she was happy giving up her life for something she so terribly desired. She was a member of the North American Eagle Supersonic Speed Challenger team, which she joined in 2013. Terry Madden, Jesse's partner, acknowledged her death on August 28th in a tragic Instagram post. He wrote, Unfortunately, we lost her yesterday in a horrific accident. I was the first one there, and trust me, we did everything humanly possible to save her. I have never loved or been loved by anyone as much as this amazing woman. She was truly my unicorn, and I enjoyed every single minute that I had with her. She was the most amazing spirit that I have ever or will ever know. I'm not okay, but she's right here keeping me going. I made her a promise that if this didn't go well, I would make sure and do good with it. Combs' life was full of close calls. Her death wasn't the only horrific accident in her life. She was in an awful incident as a child that fractured her back. Doctors said it was a marvel that she wasn't paralyzed or in a wheelchair as a result of it. This simply served to motivate Combs to work harder and faster. Unfortunately, we all know how Jesse Combs died at the age of 39. The fastest woman on earth devotes a significant amount of time to reporting, examining, and discussing Combs' final disastrous run in the Alver Desert. Finally, the crew concluded that Jesse was unable to stop because the leading wheel collided with the boulder in the desert, causing it to shatter and making it difficult for Jesse to slow down. Her crew later established that she had broken Kitty O'Neill's record in that final run, recording the new fastest woman on earth with a speed of 522.783 miles per hour. The record was handed to Combs posthumously, and it still stands today. Combs leaves a legacy in addition to breaking the record. Women pursuing careers and trades such as welding, fabrication, automotive, mechanical electrical work, metal fabrication, pipe lifting, and mechanical engineering would benefit from a scholarship established in her honor. Combs, who was born in South Dakota in 1980, developed a passion for racing and machinery at a young age with the support of her family. She attended Wyotech College in Wyoming and graduated first in her class with a degree in custom automotive fabrication. 
Soon after, the college's marketing department asked her to build a car from the ground up for charity, commencing her metalworking career. Combs quickly began appearing on a variety of television shows, including an appearance as co-host of the series, where she demonstrated her expertise in building and customizing cars for off-road racing. For four years, Combs presented the Spike TV television show Extreme 4x4, which was part of the power block. Her time on the show, however, nearly ended in disaster. In the studio, a piece of machinery fell on her and cracked her spine, almost paralyzing her. She left the show after fully recovering. Following the onset accident, Combs announced her departure from the show in February of 2008. Combs had also appeared as a host and constructor on Discovery Channel's Mythbusters. Combs later appeared in a number of other shows, including Overhaulin', All Girls Garage, and Mythbusters. While Carrie Byron was on maternity leave in 2009, Combs featured in 12 episodes of Mythbusters' seventh season. She was also seen on Overhaulin'. In a tweet, former Mythbusters host Adam Savage referred to her as a brilliant and top-notch builder, engineer, driver, fabricator, and science communicator, adding that we are all at a loss for her absence. Combs co-hosted the autoblog series The List, 1001 Car Things to Do Before You Die with Patrick McIntyre beginning in 2011. Combs hosted All Girls Garage on Velocity, now the Motor Trend Network, from 2011 to 2014. The show revolved around women maintaining and upgrading new and classic autos. Combs co-hosted the sixth season of Overhaulin's relaunch on the Velocity and Discovery channels alongside Chris Jacobs in 2012. Combs appeared on the Discovery Channel panel show Breakroom in 2018. Also in 2018, Combs was featured as Jay Leno's guest driver of a Bugatti Chiron on an episode of Jay Leno's Garage. The documentary The Fastest Woman on Earth, released in 2022, follows her career in land speed record attempt, which was documented over a seven-year period beginning in 2013. Combs set the women's four-wheel land speed record on October 9, 2013, with an official run of 398.954 miles per hour and a top speed of 440.709 miles per hour in the North American Eagle Supersonic Speed Challenger at the Alford Desert. In doing so, she beat Lee Breedlove's 48-year-old women's land speed record of 308.506 mile per hour run average set in Spirit of America, Sonic 1, in 1965. Combs set a new peak speed of 477.59 miles per hour, driving the other American Eagle on September 7, 2016. Combs was also the Falcon Tire 2014 Ultra 4 Spec Class National Champion. In 2016, she won the EMC Modified Class at King of the Hammers with the Savvy Off-Road Team, and in 2017, she finished 12th in the Unlimited Class with the same stock mod cat. A woman passionate about cars and driving, an untimely death, a life lost too soon. Jessie was more than just a racer. She was an inspiration for all the women who were afraid to pursue eccentric dreams. She was a legend for people all over the globe. Is it a good thing that she died behind the wheel she so fiercely loved? Or is it sad because she gave her life way too soon when she had the potential to achieve so much more? Let us know what you think in the comments section below. And until next time, thank you everybody for choosing to spend your time with us here today.